I'm Tom Long. Today, we'll be on Caswell Beach between the Oak Island Lighthouse and the Old Baldy Lighthouse. The Gospel reading for the sixth Sunday of Easter is John chapter 14, verses 15 through 21. You're invited to pause here and take a moment to read that for yourself, if you like. If you paused, good on you, and welcome back. Are you uncomfortable with long goodbyes? Or is it hard for you to let go when you know a loved one is departing? Jesus said a long goodbye to his disciples in what is known as his farewell discourse. It spans chapters 14 through 17 of the Gospel of John. He tenderly and earnestly sought to prepare them for life after his death, burial, resurrection, and ascension. The Gospel reading for the sixth Sunday of Easter falls squarely within this farewell discourse. Our reading begins with the concept of love. The very first verse, Jesus says, If you love me, keep my commands. Well, what are his commands? In Mark 12, verses 30 and 31, he told us what he thought was the greatest command. He said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, that is the second greatest commandment, is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And he's echoing what was taught in the Old Testament, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 5 and 6, and all of the synoptic gospels relay that these are the two great uh, commandments. So when John says that Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commands, he's saying, if you love me, love God, love your neighbor. So that's how it starts. And interestingly, our passage also closes with references to love. Whoever has my commands, Jesus says, and keeps them is the one who loves me. Again, whoever loves the Father, whoever loves their neighbor, is the one who loves me, Jesus is saying. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, Jesus goes on to say, and I too will love them and show myself to them. So there's a there's a lot of love going on here. Loving God and our neighbor is how we love Jesus and abide in the love of Jesus and the Father. The more we love, the more Jesus reveals himself to us. But what about the middle of the passage? While Jesus anticipates that he's going to be absent from his disciples and body, he asks the Father to give us, quote, another advocate, unquote, besides himself. So the advocate, the paraclete, the one called alongside is what that word literally means, will both help us and just be with us. Jesus was the advocate called alongside us as our Emmanuel, God with us. Often referred to as the Holy Spirit, Jesus here describes another advocate as the spirit of truth, called alongside us to help us and be with us. The Holy Spirit keeps us grounded in the truth that God loved the world enough to send us Jesus. The Holy Spirit keeps us grounded in the truth that God wants to draw alongside us and help us. The Holy Spirit keeps us grounded in the truth that God wants to just be with us. God enjoys a fellowship of mutual love with us. In this section of his farewell discourse, Jesus reminds us of God's purpose in sending him. God wants us to gather together as a family, God's family, a family that loves one another and others, a family that not only like Jesus and the Holy Spirit helps each other, but also just wants to enjoy being together, loving on one another. What was your takeaway from this passage? Please share that in the comments. God bless you.